What is up YouTube? Skiz1 here. Obviously today I have a shipment. It is a gigantic shipment. Um, I mean it's, it's not gigantic, but it's it's pretty big. I'm really excited to get this. In total, two packages weigh 26 pounds, so you can tell just from the weight there's going to be a lot of paint. Um, I ordered some other stuff with it as well, but I took advantage of one of their sales. This one in particular was 25 Mystery uh, paint cans for Iron Lac, specifically they were uh, doing. So I'm getting right into this here. So you got your paper. Just in case any of you haven't seen yet, these are the new Iron Lac cans. Um, to be honest, I like the old ones. The old ones are, are nice. I really like the old ones. Hopefully they didn't change anything besides the packaging, although the pink bottom on these is pretty slick. I really like that, but I'm going to miss the old ones. They still come with the, the Widowmaker cap here. The Widowmaker looks a little different the way it's the the pink part is. Um, hopefully that doesn't affect the quality either. I don't know if they went through some manufacturing changes, but in terms of the colors here, I can. They sent me a ton of great colors. I can tell already. There's a really, really good range of them. Uh, spectrum, I should say. So this one's eggplant. Um, nice purple. Guacamole. Here's one of the old cans. <laughs> it's one of their gold ones. I guess probably still have some gold because people don't really use it that much. Uh, swamp. I have some swamp already, so that's good. I can maybe do a, a piece with a few cans of it. Eureka, sort of a, I don't know, beige-ish. This is more of a beige. Wow. I didn't realize that their cans have like different style tags on them and stuff too. That's cool. So this one is... Fraser. I have one of those too, actually. That's nice. Um, this color looks really slick. Their, their colors look even more vibrant with the black can body. Uh, reef. I don't think I've ever had a reef colored iron lac. Cool. But, yeah. So they, they have a bunch of these different tags by, you know, a lot of their artists that they sponsor and whatnot. Here's a nitro. I don't know how they still have old nitro cans because it's a beautiful color. Mex Magic. That's nice as well. Knockout. Sort of brown. Here we've got Kira. Uh, I call it like a dusty green. Lazy Gray, believe it or not, I have some of that too because they sent me some of that in the last mystery pack I bought. Um, Kick, <laughs> very similar to Knockout, the color. Ooh, Keen, bright yellow, probably not as bright as Nitro. Here they've got, uh, what's this one? Journey, Mica. Macaw, I don't know. Whoa. I don't know what happened with this can. It's got crap on the bottom of it. Uh, this one's Hitachi, though. It's very light. Probably a... Uh, might have a little bit of a blue tint, but almost a white. Um, Irwin here. They sent a lot of good, like, uh, almost character colors to work with. Green. Jarnte. I don't know. Green's good. I'm not really a fan of the color. But in general, this is a really nice color palette to, to get. Um, they're <laughs> the last mystery pack I got from Bombing Science, to be honest, I got a lot of dark colors. It just felt like they were trying to get rid of some of their inventory that no one buys. Um, so they gave me some sort of not great colors, but with this, this is super decent. Uh, so they sent Black Techie Baked More sort of character -y browns I really like all the brown tints 
I'm sure some people wouldn't be happy to get a lot of that, but these are nice. I really like them. An older can of Atlantic. Clearly a pretty dark blue there. A uh, bolt. Yeah. That was one of the other colors I got in the mystery pack too. Um, darker sort of brown no one would really want to use. Unless you're shading. Oh. Augur's Blackout. That's a nice one to get. Okay. Ooh. Oh, sweet. That's a that's a plain chrome can. It looked uh, gold to me for some reason, I guess, in the pack. But, yeah. Nice chrome there. Acacia. Or a... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Another sort of brown there. I have here... Two half inch um, mohair nibs. They are grog. I didn't actually know they were grog when I was buying them, but um, the grog ones, I found that they they stand up a lot better than nibs in general. So uh, these are good. Nibs are expensive, but uh, if you buy good quality ones like the grog ones, it's usually worth it. Like uh, this pack for me was just five twenty five or something like that, over over five bucks, but. Um, they should last a while, so after a little bit of mixing, you're getting the more true pink there. Um, I really like this color, it's a very vibrant color, and you know it's going to stay vibrant when you put it down because it's grog. <laughs> Not to talk grog up too much, but I, I really enjoy their uh, paints. Another grog full metal paint here, this one is in Klondike Gold. Um, I just wanted to try and see what their their gold was. This is truly a liquid gold. Um, it looks more, definitely a lot more liquid than their other paints. Something else I'm very excited to get, and there will be a review on this one. Um, I'll link you to my reviews of all the other products I've ordered here, because I've reviewed them all. A nice Daylo pen here. Daylo's always been, they have that ballpoint there. It focuses in yeah but it's a very large marker I didn't know Dela ones were this big this is a different one they I mean different than other sort of graffiti mops markers what they do is they have the the push thing here on the back um, and then the ballpoints just obviously a ballpoint but this is like it's not a squeeze one at all this is a metal body um, I wear this one white so the color is indicated by what's on here so that's a very cool marker um, I don't think there's a mixing ball in it or anything. Very interesting. It's one of the graffiti products sort of that has um, hasn't really ever even been marketed as a as a graffiti related product. It's just it's been an industrial product and it's found its way into uh, that market as well because people love it. I'm very excited to try this out. There will be a review on this. I'll try and link you to it if it's up at this point in time. Last year, but not least, I could not uh, pass up some Mark Albee paint sticks. So, <laughs> here they are. Three whites. Those are the ones I bought. And then, they had their... Uh, I ordered over a certain amount, so I got a free one. Uh, so they gave me some sort of green here. The four of these don't even cost ten bucks. They're um, very good value, I guess you can say. And here they threw in their new sort of, they do like, oh here, get a free can with an order and whatever. Um, so they gave me free wind cap, free this, free marker, whatever. They're not really any use unless you're gonna order anyway, so don't just order for that stuff. So then they sent me some stickers. Don't bite my style. Writer's bench, okay. Got it. Some bombing signs ones, I always appreciate getting those. These are like nice uh, vinyl stickers, this is very high quality. Another one in different tones. Uh, three bombing signs ones here as well. All this stuff worked out to be... Oh, 210 bucks Canadian, I think. So, uh, it'll be a bit less if you're ordering American. Well, actually a lot less, more like... 160 if you're doing US dollars. But yeah, I got the 25 cans, the four Mark Albees, the two Grog paints there, Dalo marker, 
two nibs. They uh, hooked me up with a pretty good color mix here. Stay tuned for the Daylo Marker review. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I am an affiliate of Bombing Science actually, so I do have like discount codes I can give you guys too. Um, I'm supposed to give those out, so just uh, hit me up in the comments or wherever else. And uh, yeah, stay tuned, rate, comment, subscribe. Peace.